Uh oh, hello, hello. Okay, <laughs> I'm hoping my connection is going to stay good. As soon as I push the live button, the dogs start barking. Shh, I don't know. I'm trying to be outside because it's so nice out here today. But it seems like everywhere I am, either the sun is in my face or it's shaded. So hopefully you guys can see. Okay. Um, so I just want to start out with a quick little blessing for this live stream, which is, may I be of service, may I let the goddess speak, may I be a channel for source energy, may I honor you with my presence, and may you receive what you need. And this is going to be a short live video because I'm going to be doing a much longer live training this afternoon on shadow alchemy, don't be afraid of the dark. And I may have just given you the clue to the answer to this live stream of why do you sabotage yourself? And no, it's not Mercury retrograde, right? Not that Mercury retrograde can't influence things, but to me, astrology is definitely um, a part of life. Um, but it's um, it's more like the weather, right? It's like Mercury retrograde, it's like it's raining outside. You can still do what you want to do, but you might postpone it because of the rain or you might just bring an umbrella or whatnot. But the big thing that really sabotages us, hold on, I need coffee, is, um, oh, I forgot to share this. Oh, I'm just going to go on and I'll share it later. Um, the big thing that really sabotages us is our shadows, which is why I'm teaching a class on that today, right? Um, I mean, when you want something and you don't get it, I mean, sometimes people think, well, the obvious thing is you didn't do the work, so you didn't get it. But sometimes, not only, sometimes you didn't do the work, right? But sometimes the reason you didn't do the work is because your shadow was there with a different desire keeping you from doing the work. Or sometimes you do the work and still that shadow desire keeps what's keeps you sabotaging yourself. So I'm going to give you one short example of like how that might work. Our shadow self is just the part of us that is unconscious and I'm not going to teach very much at all about that right now <laughs> because I'm teaching a whole like hour long workshop on this and giving you a lot of techniques to work with this um, and keeps and make friends with your shadow. Let um, your shadow be happy and you be happy and stop sabotaging each other right because if you have a shadow desire to be poor but you want to make lots of money those are in opposition to each other and so you're kind of like you have one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake but the bad part is if you knew that it would be really easy <laughs> to take that other foot off of the brake right and keep going but a lot of times the reason it's called the shadow is because it's unconscious. It's not like who would want to desire to be poor. Therefore, it is, it's hidden back there and you don't know. So it's like there's this little um, invisible gremlin pushing on the brake and you don't see that. So that's, that's, the, that's the trick is to actually become aware of your unconscious desires, um, the shadow desires that are holding you back and work with them in a way that um, lets you go through and have, you know, meet your conscious desires. So um, yeah, that's, that's the big secret of what holds us back a lot of times. Um, there are a few, I mean, obviously there are other things in the real world, but um, I think one of the biggest things when we are doing it to ourselves, when we're sabotaging ourselves and it's not coming from outside of ourselves, is definitely the shadow. So this afternoon I will be teaching, if I can look at it, I'm going to be teaching you a little bit more about what your shadow is, why you want to work with it, um, some special circumstances that you need to be aware of if you're going to work with it, and then um, three techniques for working with your shadow. And then three things to do if you get stuck or you're just not getting the results you want. And then how to put it all together in a simple daily practice or weekly practice, whatever works for you. So um, those are the things that I'll be sharing about this afternoon. And um, it will be for it will be free. It will be in my Facebook group, the Bee Magic group. So I'll put a link to that on here. Maybe I can do that now. And 
Um, if you cannot make it, it will be one o'clock Eastern time today, but if you can't make it, it will be up for 24 hours and then it will go away. So it will have lots of good practical tips. It's not gonna be a psychology class. I'm not gonna like go all into um, Jungian theory about why we have a shadow and like, because you can like work lifetimes. <laughs> and learn so much about this. I know I still have more to learn, but what I really wanna give you is just um, quick, practical, easy things that you can do that will get you results. And so, 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 I'm trying to put the link to the group. Um, and if you are one of my premium members, you will get a link in the mail um, to do it by Zoom and you'll also get the recording, but everybody else will be able to get it for free. Um, there, am I live on the wrong page? I could be live on the wrong page. That could be what's happening because I'm not seeing myself live on my computer. Um, or it could just be my computer being a booger butt. Okay. I don't know where I am live because it's not seeming to show up. Ah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to put a link in there to the um, Be Magic group. Like I said, if you come in later, this training will be up for 24 hours. So from one o'clock this afternoon, it starts. And then I will leave it up till like probably two or three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So you can jump in there anytime and get those um, tips on how to stop sabotaging yourself by working with your shadow. All right, guys, I will talk to you this afternoon. Have a great one.